Um, early morning signs. I think for me it felt really sudden, but I think if I kind of look back, there were some early morning signs. So there were definitely some fun. Kind of, I think there's definitely quite a long period of many years of kind of maybe feeling a bit more kind of suspicious of people, or um, and a bit kind of like paranoid. A big part of it for me, I think, um, for many years, was kind of spending a lot more time like in my head than like in the real world, if that kind of makes sense. So um, I guess, you know, whenever anyone's kind of like stressed or a bit upset or whatever, sometimes you kind of, even when you're in a conversation, you're a bit more focused inwardly or kind of maybe not paying 100% attention to kind of the conversation. And I guess as well, some, I had some quite unusual experiences before I became really unwell, which lasted for quite a while. I think there were a few moments when maybe I became really paranoid or um, had an unusual belief, yeah, um, which kind of only lasted for like maybe a few hours, or there were a few t- times when I kind of saw things which I knew weren't there and kind of then just kind of shrugged it off. Yes, yeah, so there were some other like, signs. I think really it's probably very different from um, a carer to kind of someone who's been through it because when it happens to you, for me anyway, I kind of didn't realise I was ill and it felt like quite a sudden thing the first time. Whereas I'd imagine maybe as a carer you kind of notice things a bit more slowly or subtly? Or? It was quite hard for me because at the time, you know, my daughter was in London she'd sort of phone, and then I noticed that her conversations were becoming, she, you know, she was struggling to talk, you know, there'd be these long silences, and she just couldn't get any words out. And then she'd be talking about being under surveillance, people watching her, and I'm sort of trying to reassure her that this wasn't the case. And after a sort of a few days, this just kept on increasing in intensity. And the worst of it was, was her inability to actually say anything. She just couldn't say anything apart from being under surveillance and cameras on her and she was going to go to prison and all sorts of things. And when she did turn up, it was very, very obvious that she wasn't well. It was just like being confronted with this. It was just this blank sort of individual looking at you with all her sort of concerns about going to prison and never seeing us again. Do you think things have been, had you noticed things changing for quite a while before it all kind of quite sudden? Thing? It was quite sudden. Yeah. It sort of happened over a period of time. I think there were sort of various pressures that had been happening in her life in a series of episodes and they just culminated in this sort of Psychosis, and that's what it was. Um, yeah. mm-hmm. so. so it felt quite sudden for you as well? It's very sudden, yeah. it just came out of the blue. Yeah. And that's it, you know, you don't expect your children to become ill. Not, mm-hmm. not with that sort of illness, you know. That's, you sort of almost wish it was you rather than them. Mm-hmm. You don't want them to go through it. Mm-hmm.